Jiske. You may have seen me on the very tiny book called The Nam Sabbath. And I am going to back home to do this for my father and to thank you all for this year for giving us your time. The world is going to turn out to be a very big event. They are going to declare ourselves tribunals. For this program, I will ask for them once in a while to have a little bit of here and there as we move forward. Again, I welcome you to this program. This is with the ladies and gentlemen. May we rise for the final anthem. Yes. May we sing in Madame Pen together? Sir, you get my national anthem. Okay, with the same advice, let us sing the national anthem all together.
distinguished guests and gentlemen, ladies and former recognition. As I present to you especially, a distinguished daughter of the Madalana, an outstanding educationist, Chief Mrs. Bola Kwati. and a distinguished daughter of the Parliament, Colonel Chief Mrs. Adelike Abe. Who will get the room tonight? Edith. Ah! As she will get the room, let me also remember especially Edith Pomona Kutushua, not a dean of your father, Mark Salem.
Quem já larga? Aqui para o outro. Deu a água, vem aí. Mas só tem um. Yes. Aí o chefe o meu. Yes. Jo. Aqui a cobrir. Yes. Ó o meu domínio. Yes. Aí tu vai te pedir. Tá batendo com o dia só. Tire a água. E me. E me. Cheguei. So we are going to set this, we go straight to the point because the gentleman line up as the discussion, the acting lecturer, we must appreciate their patience. And we must not override or overstate our record. Because whether we are this is after one. She won't need a poly family salary or whatever you want to live by. If I say, we will not go to the to send to the tier, it will be by. You go. See what you say. I know. Time is money. So on behalf of Kakes Individual of Madonna, members of the royal family, Anibo Madetu, and we, the citizens of Madonna, will commence this program formally. Master Jerry, yes, sir. Over to you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, sir, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me inform you that I will give you lots of a compendium special package for this anniversary. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, when you check the program with you, there is a particular program number 10, Mr. Chairman, sir, through you. Let me invite Senator Kola Balogun for the welcome address. Former Senator, representative for your staff, Senatorial District. I say yes. Canon 
is the capital of West Africa, so region. So I have the Ali World House. On behalf of the entire indigenous of the land, I'd like to welcome us to this historical occasion. I know that uh, my brother, Louis Kennedy, has said some of the things I have said in welcoming you. As a matter of fact, he is a perfect fit for this particular assignment because he is our cultural ambassador. I listen to him. And while I was sitting listening to him, I recall that he was describing the indigenous universities. Yes, we have one like and on the road. I know this, yes, all the other guys who sit, go left and right, and we also have the exits. So I would like to welcome us to this occasion. Because he better not be taking last. And so the planning committee headed by our young brother, Professor, Professor Dakwafanadi, who was sent to help us, decided to put this program together in conjunction with CCI. And some other prominent Kibana images. I'd like to thank, on behalf of KBC, all those who have contributed to the success of this program, both in monetary terms and in terms of goodwill and moral support. You really got a really look at the budget. Um, okay. uh, being here today, I have to call this issue because Ibadan is the successful city of the Yoruba land. Uh, I listened to Professor uh, uh, the story of Akita Akituye on one of his uh, outings when he said the entire Yoruba ought to be forever grateful to Ibadan and Ibadan people. But for Ibadan people, for Ibadan land, the entire Yoruba land will have been overrun by the Fulani Jihadists. We sent them back all the way to the Lord. And this is why we have the Yoruba land that we have today. And so, so Ibadan is the, the Yoruba of the Yorubas. And we are also very unique now. We are unique in terms of our traditional system. We are unique as a family. And this is why you find almost every Ibadan person. I'm talking about genuine Ibadan person. Because sometimes you run across some people outside of the land and you say, Where are you from? I say, I'm from Ibadan. 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 You can't tell us you are from Ibadan. You can't tell us you are from Ibadan then we have more questions to ask. And so, uh, this is going to be a great day for us. And I'm sure that we're waiting to hear from our lecturer. Once again, thank you all for coming. As you will send it to Hello, 
Senator, Doctor, Mahu, or Lanika, is Shalatan CFR, and you, Kumadi, is
said in Africa, one of the most prestigious universities in the world is only that our academy did not attend the world. <laughs> but hopefully, this university appreciates what the good and progressive people of Ibadan land did for Ibadan land when the KGC and chief of Ibadan land ceded this land to this university for 99 years. Today, KGC is the chief landlord of UI, and that explains why we will not have to celebrate it inside UI. People talk together for our KGC also did it. Now, now, through the chairman, invite very distinguished Professor Ibrahim to the salon to be delivered his lecture. Professor Salam.
Put the water and let it run. Ready? We were two friends. And also, we are also from Ibadan, the city with no people. But we differ in some respects. Those of us who know Professor Reverend will know that he is taller than I do, <laughs> and is fairer in complexion than me. However, as faithful habits, I happen to be the one representing him for the things that I've just explained. And because of this, the lecture I'm going to read is the voice. The voice that I hear is that of Professor Rebirani. The content I'm going to deliver is that of Professor Rebirani. And so the other one you hear me say, I, or personal pronoun like a man, it is not me. Professor Nigeria. However, where I need to keep me some information that are personal, I will equally inform the audience that those comments are mine. The lecture. Please, if I pass, it's because of the fact that I was given just 80 minutes. A preamble. In this presentation, it is my attempt to reflect on the pre-colonial origin of the body and its importance for regional and national development as a cultural and administrative capital with its own uniqueness, contradictions, and frictions. I am interested in addressing historical antecedents of Ibadan and its centrality and the centrality of Ibadan to Yoruba civilization and cultural relations in Ibadan. As I try to show is the last empire in colonial Nigeria history. Finally, I try to interpret the quality of its heritage and pride as a modern city with its own natural and man-made challenges. Above all, if I am standing and behold the trail of Yoruba civilization, it is a contaminous example of a truly cosmopolitan and republican spirit of a people destined for greatness, the origin. The general most popular reference to the origin of the world has been to define it as a 19th century Roman town. Yes, a few reports of research show that the must have predated the 17th and 18th centuries. Ibadan, at the determinants of the Thomas and the Savannah, was founded in the 16th century by Latin from Ilay. Its founding was said to have even recorded in the Ifan tradition, thus, which predated the arrival. Of the white man. In a news report published in the Nigerian Tribune of Friday, January 2009, the late Paul Neil Kiffe of Ashitu Ade Rukuse II, in conversation with the late Alan Kiffe, noted that, I quote, the first founder of the Bible, known as Prince Adiulagi was a direct son of Oni Luo, Dagida, 
the 18th or of April, who wrote from 1363 to 1410, who had a billet plan with French benefits set to settle in Ibada in the 16th century. And the truth. Chief I.B. appeared in 1911, described the first Ibada as a good outcome with 16 gates and a population of about 100,000 people having access to the neighboring towns of Oyo, Ega, Ijebu, and Ike. Thus, Ibarra was demographically, demographically important to the whole of the empire and must have contributed to the transformation of the society in the 16th century. When Oyoye was sacked during or after the reign of Allah in Kunigugi, who rose from 1530 to 1542, according to the Antananas I. With the decline of the Oyo Empire, Ibadan became the next most important time, famed for its infantry of warriors and battalions. Of skilled marksmen and horse riders. It was a reference and primary force of the Yoruba peace, peace treaty, which was signed in 1886. The treaty that ended the wars and the peace of that time. If I was starting as a settlement, a war a session, a duty post, a market town, a terminus, a metropolis, a mega city, and a capital of capital. Its potential as an autonomous state within the Federation of Nigeria is without any doubt. Being a containerist of Asians and modern commercialism of Asians of an African city has traditions that are both ancient and modern, secular and spiritual, popular and notorious as well as progressive and contradictory conservative. In his third way of settlement, he but in 1839 as a war camp for warriors coming from Oyo, Ife, and Ijebu because of the forest sites and, and uh, several Ladies of peace. Ibadan had initially begun as a military state and remained so until the last decade of the 19th century. The city state also succeeded in building a large empire from the 1860s to the 1890s, which extended over much of the northern and over much of the northern and eastern Yorubaland. It was approximately the name, indeed, or God base because of its uniqueness, because of its unique military character. Bravery is the first thing. In the act of war and diplomacy, the, the supremacy and military dominance cannot be over our side. If other warriors had operated and established their prowess in battle, in such expeditions as the Ghana, the Germany, and the Kiriji Wars. Of interest are aspects of the pandemic places of Ibadan, in which bravery and war are singled into the DNA of the city and its people. Owani Manibi, the target reputed to me, war has never recruited the people of Ibadan. And why come in here and they are going to love Ibadan. We do not leave the war without the shortcoming. Civil strife is a disease of Ibadan. The Republican tradition. In Ibadan, unlike other universities with traditional institutions, 
the warrior class became the rulers the city, as well as the most important economic group. The battle grew into an impressive and strong urban center, such that by the end of 1839, that is, in the third wave of it as a major settlement, he had dominated the Yoruba region militarily, politically, and economically. The military sanctuary expanded much further when the refugees began arriving in large numbers from London for your foreign raids by foreign warriors. After losing the northern portion of their region to the Maroni, Full of these, many of your indigenous retreated, retreated deeper into the Ibadan environments. The full of the attempted to expand further into the southern and modern day Nigeria, but was decisively defeated by the armies of the great 1840, which eventually altered the progress. In the book, the Badan Empire, Republicanism in the pre colonial African nation, Chief Tony O'Reilly described the nature of the Republican order which took root in the city. It was the melting pot of the Yoruba nation, the huge camp of independent and distinguished warriors, where only the strong survived. It is a place of enterprise, succor, and safety. In his words, vibrant characters from Mecca and other southern towns like Idebu, Remo, Ife, Elisha, ETC, also flocked to Ibada in search of adventure. Thus, Ibada became a home for many Yoruba towns, just as the United States of America attracted many enterprising people from European countries such as Britain, France, Germany, Poland, Italy, and, and others. For Ibadan, the unified force was freedom and egalitarianism for the common and opportunity in the monarchical system, which gave birth to a republican system of government that had never been seen before then in Yoruba. Chief Okuyemi described the leadership between the typical warlord and his camp of followers. Each warlord had his own foot soldiers, cowboy, and an inner group called Babaniki Mashe, Masha, Babaniki Masha, Babaniki Masha, meaning the warlord of this need to be served. Each of them by the hand between 100 and 1,000 of such soldiers. It was their duty to stand by their law, give and receive blows, and ensure the safety of their master with their own lives, whenever the time of war was against them. Therefore, by the middle of the 19th century, and at the time when the British colonialists had established trading posts in the colonial present day regions, and the Jehu Eka Axis, Ibadan was already in its apogee. The very last empire with commanding rule in the Yoruba land in all directions, but gradually yielding to the ordinances and treaties of the British government. No reference of the made in West African history to Ibadan as an empire or a kingdom. The radical scholars not the historical significance of the city after the decline of some earlier empires and kingdoms as the Ashanti Empire, the Shonga Empire, the Kanemono Empire, if a kingdom, the Aruchuku Kingdom, the Oyo Kingdom, and the Bene Kingdom. The argument basis that the Bible was so destined to serve as a rallying point of global civilization marked as the place of the last empire of the West African colonial politics. For mission stories and intellectual history by local and international institutions and individuals. Indeed, there is no other system of governance in pre history 
are the modern times that is comparable to this that the thinker has said that and the queen to Africa and indeed the world civilization. If I say for its Republican nature, come up with the constitutional attribute of the people. But most importantly, it is a ancient hierarchy system that remains to be in the world's Africa system. In that system, we have a coalition of tradition and modernity, confession of modernity, but above all, the nature of modernity remains to be revealed and revealed. Right in this book, but the traditional system, the forms and the generation of 2011, which is yours, are very good. But the traditional system is unique in several respects. Among other systems in the world, its uniqueness is often difficult to appreciate, especially by government officials who always assume that the traditional system in the world is beautiful. This assumption has all led to the use of common legal materiality in GTS laws without taking care. Ibadah was a part of the Ibadah was the largest in the Nigeria. He became the largest child in Africa until recently protected by Lagos. The proof of my dominance and peace are accommodated in this industrial commercial and educational issues to the same heavy discovery of the peace. But that has been all to be in fact the city has attacked the largest city quote and unquote in the world of territory supply and development. Being the next country to empire comes to its bodies. There were the effects of agitation and waves of settlers, especially after the game of the Black River and the Tennessee The underground nature of the city state is made up to accommodate the potential of poverty in a, a coexistence in Jeffrey Clark's poem. You remember that poem by the Robert Clark of Black River, 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 Amenities are either lacking or totally unavailable in the matter. It is alleged that the duty of providing these amenities and planning the city is left to the general populace. And clearly, we can see it in the in, 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 the, in coordination of road networks, markets, and housing to road encroachment, poor building system that endangers. Poor occasion by heavy damps. Another stark concern is in the future waste management system. Roads are often overflowed with waste materials from daily use, dirty damps. Also, there are hardly designated locations for waste disposal. Even so, these disposals are unsightly. Again, roadsides are used to do by unscrupulous elements, and although there are laws in place to sanction such unruly behaviors, the law delegates some defenders. Transport system in the Bible is inadequate coupled with poor road levels. Right now, besides the regular Nikola, whose drivers have no uniform coordination of road usage, the Bible has become a dog site for Kada Nigerians who are flying from other cities that were not blind to the scores of issues that have been true over time in public discourse. Additionally, several Kekena pets just to post place still on the, on the roads. Nevertheless, commendably, the government has thrown in some monthly buses to ferry passengers and subsidize things. Our media airport, which used to contain international carriers, 
along the converted proudly to the residential quota, and the new one, Malakia, treated as sub functionally. Our educational programs in the state are challenged. Primary and secondary education is overtaken by private institutions. This advantage is advantaging the children of the common man. Yes, many of these private institutions are much more established. Lacking in substance and materials, they can try either because the professional sector is still too many training or they have put their wings through. Some of our friends will tell, will tell you that there are is that problem in you of inadequate social welfare, which led to the explosion of social disputes and disciplines. We can have the other matter of poor mental excellence in which there is an increasing number of Italian and civil people in our schools. <laughs> Lastly, on this note, there are the methods of brigadier, the increasing number of out of school children and consumption of hard drugs causing these folks to attack or seek to inflict harm on innocent citizens and constitute themselves as willing to choose the hands of the people. The empirical, the empirical empire. Indeed, if I like the last empire, the most sustained of the previous empires, becoming the next one between the Asian and the modern history. It was the sign of the new world history, signaling the end of the world and of peace time modern history. It rose and transcended, trans transcended from being a military camp and shredded trading post to the seat of regional government of Western State. Ibadan is 3,080 kilometers square in size, with a population of over 3 million people as of 2021. As a whole, the state is rich in such mineral resources as clay, dolomite, gypsum, gold, kaolin, marble, and so on and so forth. Ibadan is the only former seat of government of Western Africa without the political autonomy of a state. The Dodan Regional Capital now has Karina as a capital, as a capital city. Why the Eastern region now has Enugu as a capital of Enugu State. The political implication of this is that it remains a senatorial part of the last of the last day, the size of four or five other cities in Nigeria today. The fiscal implication of it is that it lacks the treatment that the other states are according in federal, federal and official. Now this is generally we find it steady growth without a commercial spike in, in, in infrastructural and corporate development. The geographical fact that you the borders, you the borders in the bigger police like Lagos, and yet remains a cosmopolis, is both a challenge and a burden for man in the world. is the future of the United Nations because it is the most important development city in the country of the Lagos. Because again, the melting point, that of Yoruba people, ethnic groups that make up the Nigerian nation. I made me to end the lecture by saying that the challenges we face are doubt based, not the process of Thank you.
Thank you very much. The acting lecturer. We are aware that not all of us understand the English language. And attempts have been made because copies of this lecture have been distributed so that we can give copies to distinguished audience. But that's the hard parts of the lecture. Now we discuss it. We will tear you to pieces. And our distinguished discussions are Ambassador Yemi Karoni, Dr. Saeed Adetubi Ige, and Obeni Alao Adedai, Professor of Alao You cannot find in your box. And neither does it to allow you to carry a former ambassador. But time is money. Yes, yes, yes. And they're And in that of way, only a very allowed at the If you remember, I was real. He was the publisher, allowed him. And also, the new man, the friend of Thank you. 